If you've been playing Minecraft for a good part of your life, you're probably familiar with that feeling when you're mining and stumble upon a vein of that shiny blue ore known as diamonds. Now, if you're a real Minecraft enthusiast, you might also get that same feeling whenever you notice there's a new update for the game waiting for you to install. Whether it's one of those big content updates such as the upcoming Caves and Cliffs, or just one of those smaller patches, there's always the other side of the metal. Every single update brings brand new bugs into the game waiting to be discovered by the community. And if you're on Bedrock Edition and mainly play on featured servers such as the Hive, I think we can all agree that lately, the bugs introduced in the last few patches are much more significant than the ones that were fixed. For example, Minecraft Bedrock version 1.16.200 introduced RTX ray tracing support for PC players, which is great for the ones who actually have RTX video cards. But for a much larger number of users, it also brought massive input lag and significant performance drops. There's also this entity-related bug now commonly known as Pink Glitch, which also appeared after updating to this version. And just a few days ago at the time of release of this video, 1.16.210 completely ruined what's known as MJ Bridging. So that being said, if you're a PC player and you've ever wanted to go back in time to a previous version of the game where those bugs never existed, you can using this piece of software called MC Launcher. Now, just before I get into the tutorial itself, I'd just like to point out that this is not usually the type of content I upload on my channel. I mainly stream and upload Hive gameplay at the moment. So let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future. So first things first, you're going to want to back up all of your Minecraft files which includes worlds, settings, packs, and everything else that makes the game your own. To do so, go ahead and copy the first bit of text in the description of this video, which is the path to the Minecraft game files on your computer. Then, press down the Windows key and R on your keyboard, and that'll bring up this Run window. Paste the text you copied into this text field and hit Enter. You'll see this folder called com.mojang, which contains all the information we need to save. What you're going to want to do now is select this folder and copy it, so you can temporarily paste it somewhere else. For this tutorial, I'll just paste it right here on my desktop. Next, you can close this window and we're going to download the latest release of MC Launcher. So head back to the description of the video and open the first link you find in there. Once the page loads up, click on mclauncher.zip to download it to your PC. Once it's done downloading, you can close that browser tab and head to your downloads using the file explorer. If you find mclauncher.zip in there, then right click on it and select extract all. Make sure this checkbox is unchecked, and then hit enter or click extract. You'll see that a new MC Launcher has been created in your downloads. This is the folder you're going to want to keep since it contains the MC Launcher app itself, and it will contain all the different Minecraft versions you want to download to your PC to switch between them. So you can go ahead and move that folder wherever you want to keep it on your PC, and for the sake of this tutorial again, I'll just keep it on my desktop. You can also go ahead and delete that zip file, we no longer need it. So you can close that file explorer tab and go ahead and open up mclauncher.exe in that folder. And select yes if a warning pops up. Now is the time where you choose which version or versions of Minecraft Bedrock you want to download to your PC. Now I say versions because sometimes reverting to an older version of Minecraft can disable some features that are only usable in the newest release. For example, I use 1.16.100 because I find it's most stable for playing on the Hive. But on that version, I no longer have access to realms and whenever I want to join a friend's world who plays on a different version, such as 1.16.201, I have to re-upgrade my game to that same version. One more thing to note about this is that, for some versions of Minecraft, once the world is loaded up and played in a certain version, you will no longer be able to open it in older releases of the game. So be careful which worlds you open on which versions if you intend to play in a world using an older update. Anyway, so now that you have MC Launcher open, you can go ahead and click download beside any version of the game you'd like to be able to switch to. At the time of recording of this video, even though beta releases are included in this list, none of them actually download when I select them. They just load indefinitely and never start downloading the game files, so I'd recommend sticking to the non-beta releases. I'll be walking you guys through the process of installing beta releases later on in the video, so stick around if you're interested. These versions go all the way back to 0.13.0, .0, 
so if you're down for some nostalgia, go right ahead. So you'll see that for whichever version you download, a folder with the version number is created, as well as a .appx file. That file is where you're going to want to use to install the version you want to play on. What that does is it completely replaces the current version of Minecraft on your computer with the one you choose. So once the download is complete, you can close MC Launcher and open up that .appx file. If you're reverting versions, which I am in this case, you'll see that I'm told this app is already installed, which is true. But I want to install an older update of the game, so I'm going to go ahead and select reinstall and confirm that I want to reinstall the game. Then just let it do its thing. And once it's done, don't click launch just yet, because we first need to copy our game files back into the game itself. So, you can close down all these tabs, and to put our game files back into the game, you're going to want to go ahead and press the Windows key and R once again, and you'll see this time that the text field already has the correct path from last time, so just hit enter. You'll see that a com.mojang folder is already present in there, but it's not the one we want. The one we want is the one on our desktop right here. So, go ahead and delete the current com.mojang folder. And once that's done, you can simply drag and drop the backup folder into the empty space. And you're all done! You can now close your file explorer and launch Minecraft in the version of your choice. Now this whole process might have seemed very long and tedious to you, but from my experience, I only had to do the whole backup thing the first time I used MC Launcher. Ever since then, I've been upgrading and downgrading without backing anything up, and I've never lost anything. So I don't see a reason to back up your files every single time you want to switch versions. Either way, whether you even use MC Launcher or not, it's good practice to back up that com.mojang folder somewhere safe on your PC every week or two in case anything does go wrong so you can at least roll back to that one. Now that's the end of the MC Launcher tutorial, so if that's all you wanted today, feel free to leave a like on the video and go play your fresh new version of Minecraft. But, if you're also here to know how you can play the latest beta versions of Minecraft Bedrock, you can stick around just a bit longer. What you're going to want to do for this is open up the Microsoft Store and search up Xbox Insider in the search bar. No need to hit enter, the results should just show up right under here. Click on it and get the app. As you can see, I've had it before so I can just install it right away. So once that's done installing, you can just launch it from the Microsoft Store and you can then close that tab. When you first open up the app, you'll be in the Announcements tab by default, but what we want is the Previews tab right here. If you do own Minecraft for Windows 10, which I'm sure you do since you've been watching this video the whole time, you should see this icon right here. Go ahead and click it, and let's just skip over these warnings and click Join. Just kidding, we're going to read through them because they're actually really important. They first warn you that your game will be replaced by a beta release, which is the exact same thing MC Launcher does with any other release, and they also mention you won't have access to realms or multiplayer gameplay with other players who are not playing the beta release of the game. And just like I explained earlier in the video, once the world is played in this higher version of the game, you will not be able to play it in a lower version. So if you want to play in the beta, make sure you back up your worlds first in case you accidentally open one up in the beta and lock it down until the full Caves and Cliffs release is out. Lastly, they do mention that beta builds can be unstable and stuff like that, but if you're here trying to install it, I'm sure you know that already. So now you can click continue right down here. The button will change to pending for a little bit, then the Microsoft Store should reopen on its own, and your beta download should start right away. And once it's done, you're good to go for the beta release. And finally, if you want to revert to a stable release after trying things out in there, you can use MC Launcher just as you would for any other release of the game to replace the beta. And there you go! That's the entire tutorial for reverting to older Minecraft Bedrock releases as well as trying out the beta versions. I hope this video was useful to you and if it was, a like on the video would be greatly appreciated and also consider subscribing to my channel. If you're new here, once again, this is not usually the type of content I upload on my channel, so let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Lastly, just a reminder that I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that you can join my Discord server using the link in the description where you can find a detailed upload and streaming schedule, chat with me and other subs, and get insider updates about the channel. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully see you next time.